Good evening, listeners. Welcome to tonight's radio broadcast on KLIF Mystery Radio. Tonight we'll be listening to a fascinating story of love, mystery, and murder, entitled Washington. This episode is sponsored in part by Chesterfield Cigarettes for only the most sophisticated smoker. It's a dreary April evening, 1953, in a town not far off Main Street, USA. The sound of sirens and the pitter-patter of rain fills the air. Good evening, officer. Why, hello, Detective Washington. Have you heard about Miss Rogers? Third one this month, killed the same way as the others. This makes seven. Wait, no, eight. Eighth one this year. That name, Rogers, it sounds familiar. Victoria Rogers? Yeah, that's Norm's wife. You know Norm, the dentist over on 35th Street. Real nice guy. Where is he now? We haven't been able to bring him in yet, but the old lady in the apartment above reported she had heard some racket the night before we found her body. We recorded the interview. Can you believe it? Stabbed 13 times right in the chest. How could you do that to a person? I just don't see- Can I get the tape for the interview? Sure. I got the file right here. So, as I was saying- Hey, sweetie. Hey, Jess. We better get going. We have to- Well, who's the pr- this pretty lady? You must be Mrs. Washington. Nice to meet you. My name is Officer- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Honey, we better get going. Well, I better be on my way. Thanks for the tape. You two be safe out there. You never know around here anymore. After receiving information from Officer Donut, Mr. and Mrs. Washington returned to their office to listen to the taped interview. I always knew that Norm guy was a kook. Ma'am, can you just tell me what you heard? I already told you. I heard a bunch of racket downstairs. There was yelling and screaming. I think he might have thrown something. And then what? After I heard a thud, I heard the loudest scream that anyone ever did make in all my years on this earth. That Norm had to have killed his wife. I think we need to bring in Mr. Rogers for interrogation. That afternoon, Detective Washington and his wife Jess visit the sheriff's station to question Norm. He's in room A, first door on the left. Thank you, officer. We'll record it for evidence. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rogers. Officer Donut tells me you're a dentist. Yes, for quite some time now. Do you work a lot? Five days a week, from nine to five. What do you do when you're not working? Well, after work, I come home and watch the news to relax, while Victoria would cook dinner. Then we'd eat together. So, you spent a lot of time together? Not particularly. On weekends, she spent most of her time cleaning the house and grocery shopping at Randall's. Randall's. Washington? Washington! Are you alright today, Detective Washington? (sighs) That's all for today. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Hey, are you alright? I... I saw something. I'm not sure what it was. I think we need to get back to the scene of the crime. Well, why don't we take a break for today and visit tomorrow, after you've slept? No. We need to get over there now. But honey, I just really think it'd be better- Enough, Jess! We're going to the Rogers house. An hour later. They arrive at the scene of the crime. There's something off about this place. I can't quite put my finger on it. No, no, I don't think so. Uh, Maybe you're just feeling sick. 
We should go home. For the last time, Jess, we're staying and figuring out who did it. Honey, I'm the one feeling sick now. I think we should leave. As they approach the house, Washington sees a scratch on the back of Victoria's old vehicle. He goes to investigate it further. Washington's heartbeat quickens. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Washington! Washington! Jess, I know who did it. I, I know too. It was Norm. Jess, it wasn't him. This broadcast has been brought to you by Pepsi Cola, keeping you off Coke since 1965. Jess, it wasn't Norm. Yes, it was. We already filed the report. He's going to court right now. Honey, you've just had a long day. It was... me. What? what? Are you crazy? No, you'd never do such a thing. Yes, I could. I remember everything now. When Norm talked about Victoria shopping at Randall's, I remembered last weekend. I remembered that she cut me off on Highway 47. Her back bumper scraped into the front end of my car, and- But people cut each other off all the time, it doesn't- No! I followed her home after this, and all I remember is cleaning up the blood. They're going to convict an innocent man. I, I need to go turn myself in. No! I'm not letting you do that! I've been protecting you too long to throw everything we have away now! Protecting me? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Let's let's get out of here. Tell me. Tell me now. It started a year ago when the first murder came up in this town. As more evidence was uncovered, I knew it had to be you. But I couldn't let them take you away from me. Washington, I love you. So as more and more cases started popping up, I've been planning evidence to convince everyone it wasn't you. So you would stay with me. Let's, we need to go. We need to leave this town and start somewhere else. Come with me. No. No, 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 no. We, the jury, have found Norman Alfred Rogers guilty of murder in the first degree. His sentence, 120 years to life without possibility of parole. After Norman's conviction, there was only one more murder. Miss Washington was found stabbed to death in her home, with Detective Washington nowhere to be found. But he is out there. Somewhere.